Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Random GP, episode 121, and I'm School of the Burn of Bros, and we're playing Pool Nation Effects on Xbox One. Sorry, Xbox One, for those of you that have been watching the channel for some time, we have upgraded to Xbox One. We got a couple videos up there. I think if I'm not mistaken, I think the first one we put up was the Fast and Furious on the Xbox One. But we have been doing you know, all the 360 stuff, but we're going to be bringing you more Xbox One. Still bringing you some 360, but this is Pool Nation. And what we're doing right here, just to let you know what you're seeing, what you're watching. This is a career match. You know, you go uh, to career. The game itself is free for those who have gold. So if you have gold and you have and Xbox One Pool Nation is free for you to play which is pretty awesome it's part of uh, April they had like the double you know free where you get four free games on Xbox 360 and two free games on the Xbox One and the other one is Child of Light which I'm going to have to make some videos for that but right here Pool Nation this is in career mode and if I'm not mistaken this is the quarterfinals right here so uh first you gotta do the qualifier which was actually a bunch of one frame matches and then uh you know you get into the first round then you get into the second round you get the quarterfinals there's the semifinals and finals coming up but this is the quarters and it's the best out of five frames so it's three out of five is what you gotta win and i'll tell you right now this isn't the first time I played this quarterfinal. Boom! Check it out! Woo! Look at that shot! Yes, that's a combo shot right there. Combo. But yeah, fucking... As you see, there's the 8 on. You know, that's the line there. And it's like, it shows you like where you're hitting the ball and where the ball's gonna go. You can turn that off. But right here, I got, you know, to where it's with the more aid. So you can see it, you know, getting used to the game and everything. Just starting off playing. Like I said, the first couple times I played this match, I lost. I even had, boom, look at that though. I won. Frame one. Burn the bros. That's right. Sunk the eight ball. But yeah, so as I was saying, uh, the first couple times I played this, I ended up losing. It was so close though. It would be like, oh man, just one mistake. And then you would end up losing. And I, as I did, anyway. I don't know about you, but that's how it was for me. It's like just one little mess up, and then that lets in the other player. And once they get in, they run the table usually, it seems like. So it's like once you get your shots, once you get control, boom, there you go. That's what you got to do. You got to knock them in the pocket. You got to just keep running the table. Like you cannot let the other player get in. So you got to kind of boom. Woo. This game is so much fun. I like pool. So I like this game, and it's a pretty good pool game in my opinion. And there's a bunch of craziness that you can do. This is just like I said, the career mode, but you can make trick shots. And even in this, you know, there's all kinds of different crazy shots that you can do. It, like anything that anyone could do in real life, you could do in the game, and even stuff that I've, you've probably never seen before. So anyway, though. This is just straight up, you know, right here, playing some eight ball in the career mode. Trying to get the, the best three out of five. We got the first frame, as you saw. And right now, though, they're in. And so now that the computer got in, like, I'm in trouble of losing this frame. Because if they just start running the table, like, you see, they're just knocking balls in left and right. They're ball knockers. They're ball knockers! But, yeah, so there's... You know, measuring up, boom. Oh, they missed. All right, now we're back in. Now that we got back in, we got to get these balls in the pockets. We cannot be, like, letting them get control again. And there we go. Boom, in the side pocket right there. Set this one in right there in the side. Boom. Let's see what can we do here. It's a little bit tricky. Got to try to measure this one up. So, so like, you got to make sure you get every shot you can and you really do not want to let the computer in uh, but now the computer is back in control let's see what happens here they got some shots I said the computer does not miss much oh well 
this is like the most they ever missed. I swear, like every other time, <laughs> every time they would just like be nailing all their shots and like it was crazy. I was just like, I can't believe it. They never miss, but I'm actually getting some ins here. That's the thing I was saying though. Anyway, was getting at earlier was that what you want to do is kind of measure up the table too and kind of see like, all right what balls are in the best position like if you want to go with stripes or if you want to go with spots and then you also then want to make sure you hit it in the order even though i find it's best to just make sure to take the best shot you have to make sure you get that ball in to keep shooting you know but you also want to make sure that you uh do it in a way that's going to set you up for the next shot as well you know I'm surprised they missed that last shot, that one on the side. They usually would make that kind of stuff. But, you know, those aren't gimmies, as you saw. But right here, there's a little bit of a tough shot. Boom, there we go, we got it. And now if we can get this in right here, because we do not, like, we've had too many chances. We cannot give the computer any more chances to take this game boom right there that's the last stripe now all this left is this eight ball and this is a gimme right here in the side pocket couldn't have an easier shot could still mess it up though if uh, you know <laughs> there's ways to mess it up let me tell you but we got it right there now that's two frames here we are we just need one more frame and we are moving on to the semifinals Let's see if we can get this last frame. It's before, like I said, I, this isn't the first time I played this match. I had to retry it a couple times. I'd win a couple, but usually it'd be kind of like back and forth. And they're, but you get better the more you play. That's the thing. Is like at first you start playing and it's it could be a little tough, and you'll lose. But then you don't give up. You keep playing. If you're, you're having fun, you know what I mean? If the game is something you like and you want to actually be good at it, you just keep playing until you start getting good. Because <laughs> practice makes perfect, you know? Let's just put in the work, you know? There we go. We got that one on the side. See, I wouldn't even have made that shot at first. When I, the first time I grabbed the, the controller on this. But, you, you know, and it also helps to go from this angle, I find, as well. Of course, uh, the more you play, eventually you won't even need that aim thing. But look at that. I could have made that and I messed it up. See, I still... I got work to go, man. I'm still trying to get better. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with the control, like, because it's using the analog. And so, like, the touch on the analog has a lot to do with the way you shoot it, you know. There's other ways to control it, too. So if you look at the, you go to the tutorial or whatever, like by pressing the RB and the LB button, you can do different things with the strength and all kinds of craziness with the different trick shots and everything. But uh, just even the sensitivity of the analog stick, you know, as you pull back and then rear forward, kind of like if you're playing baseball and going for a home run. But, you know, the, the speed and the, you know, the force with which you put into the, you know, the pressure that you put on the controller is going to affect your shot, so you want to make sure you hit it hard enough to get the ball where it got to go, but you also want to hit it soft at times, too, and have a gentle touch when it is called for. Oof, almost. That was kind of a tough shot, but we got a two-game lead here <laughs> that we're playing with, so we can take a little bit of chances but at the same time I said I've lost before don't want to lose again so I want to just go in there and go for the kill boom in the side pocket all right here we go this will be a little bit tough not really but just a little bit just a little bit because I'm right on that ball boom there we go Ooh, almost a uh, uh, freaking Almost went in the wrong thing there. All right, here we go. There we go. Nice. Scratch was the word I was looking for a moment ago. Anyway, luckily it wasn't a scratch. Let's see. Can we get this in the side? Can we get this in here? Ugh, I don't know. This will be a tough one. Let's see if we can squeeze that in there. Oh. I mean, I hit the the white ball hard enough. The Q, but just didn't get enough force on that blue ball. Blue balls? Somebody say blue balls. 
anyway. This is not that kind of channel. But now they're in. But they don't really have a shot right there. What are they going to do? Oof. That was interesting. They made it interesting. They almost got that. That was crazy. And they only had one ball. Now, I cannot afford to lose. If I lose, I lose. If I miss, I lose. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Blue ball in the side pocket. And then here we go. Can we get this purple? It's not going to be easy. It will not be easy. But it never is. Oh, no. But they don't really have a clear shot. Uh, woo. And now psh, it's all but over. Look at this. This is just too perfect right here. Boom. Purple in the corner. Now let's see. Can we get this eight ball on the side? This won't be easy right here, actually. It will, but it won't. This is kind of a tough shot. Yes! Woo! Sunk the eight ball. That's right. Moving on. You win. Level four beginner. <laughs> yes, we won in the quarterfinals. Moving on up. Thank you for watching. It is appreciated. Go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoy this video. Leave some comments and thoughts below. Let me know what do you think of Pool Nation Effects. Do you like pool? Do you like this video? Do you think it sucks? Feel free to opine in any way that you wish. And again, thank you for watching. It is greatly appreciated. Peace. That's what it's all about. It's all about having fun.